I met you at a party at Jennifer Aniston's house. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was probably the most intimidating, star-studded party I've ever been to. You know, I walked in, and the first guy I saw was Tom Cruise. And then I saw you and, and, and Jen, and I think like uh, Demi Moore. And uh, my wife and I had brought a bottle of wine. <laughs> and we were like, hide the wine. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put it in your purse, throw it in a bush, get right. rid of it. <laughs> this is, uh, You're the only one yeah, with a bottle of they wine. They don't need our $2 bottle I of wine. <laughs> You never know when you go to a party I if it's know. an intimate thing. It's nice to bring wine, but when it's a giant thing and you're It's like, the wrong idea. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> or, or just bring it home and drink it yourself. That's it's waste. Right. It really is. I know. But it was, I do remember meeting you then. That's right. So we it's had a not like chat. A, Yeah, we do. What do we talk about? I don't remember. Oh, my God. It's like, I was so uh, inebriated. When I'm sure it's all we, gone. <laughs> I think Very we, nervous at that point. I think party. we went out to a car and listened to some music. Somebody was uh, playing something in a car for us. Do you remember that at all? Do you, do you really think that happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe you're not who I'm thinking of. No, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Absolutely. We yeah. listen to some fine music. That definitely yeah, happened. It was good. Um, so Horrible Bosses, yeah. very, very funny. And Jen, who uh, you're, you're kind of the brunt of all of her vulgarity. She, she does so many things to you that yeah. it, it, that must be really, <laughs> it must be hard to deal with that. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, it's strange, though. It's strange hearing that stuff come out of her mouth because, and you know her better than I do, but it seems like that's not the way she would normally talk, right? No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> she, no. It's a, she seems sort of uncomfortable doing it, but uh, of course, I, you know, I get a kick out of it. Right. And, uh, and honestly, and it doesn't really need to be said, but she is really the most lovely, sweet, wonderful person, and I'm thrilled that I got to work with her twice. She, yeah, she is, but those, she texts me sometimes, she takes a picture of what she has to read and sends it to me. <laughs> she goes, this is my day today, I have to say this. And I'm, it's so horrible. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's really disgusting, but she's yeah. so funny. Isn't she just so naturally funny and quick? Yeah, yeah, and, and witty, and, and uh, that Justin's pretty great, too. Yeah. They're, they're a good team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was thrill yeah. to do all those movies. So, and, and this is amazing that you're the longest running, and it's what a successful, how did you create It's Always Sunny? What, how, how did that happen? Well, we were, you know, we were all actors out here in Los Angeles, and um, I, I can remember auditioning for movies like Euro Trip 2 and getting feedback like, he'll never work in comedy, <laughs> <You know? laughs> and saying, oh, man, I feel like, I feel like I could be funny, and let's do this ourselves. So. Uh, Rob McElhenney and Glenn Howerton, who I do the show with, and myself, we just took cameras. We went into our apartments and we created a, we started with just one scene about a guy who goes to his friend's house and he asks him if he could borrow some sugar and his friend says, oh, by the way, I have cancer. And then the guy feels sorry for his friend, but really wants the sugar also and is like, well, how do I, how do I ask for the sugar again now? Uh, and kind of based off of that sensibility, it's been going 10 years. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's Thank really you. exciting.